welcome to another amazing training video by V Studios. Allow me to introduce myself. As you know, my name is Patman Sinati Raja. I'm a V partner and the managing director of the V. Now, the past few months, I've been traveling around the world and meeting up with various networks in different countries around the world. And I'm observing one thing. You guys have built a fantastic network out there for the V, all right, over the past 10 years of QuestNet. But I've been observing that every group I meet, they have a clear, clear amount of passion. All right, they're very loud, very excited. I just came back from Central Asia, places like Tajikistan, where people are fairly new in our company and they're excited, jumping up and down. But today I want to talk to you about one thing, which passion alone and excitement alone is not enough all right, for you to achieve this vision, this dream of every networker called financial freedom. Now, when I started in 1998 networking, all right, as a downline to the most amazing upline on the planet, Dato Vijay Ishwaran, all right, I remember today how he built me as a networker, what he did with me, how he guided me, all right, how he, he held my hand along this journey for me basically to reach the point of financial freedom I am in today. Now, when I look back on how he built me, I realized that many of the leaders today, many of the networkers today around the world are not doing what I was exposed to, what I used to do. So I want to go back to the basics. I want to teach you how to network. I want to teach you how to get your checks up. I want to teach you how to keep your downlines motivated. I want you to build a long, sustainable network for years to come. Now, over the past 10 years, I realized that this industry has evolved, right? QuestNet has evolved, the V has evolved, but the methods, trainings, and teachings of our industry, right, is very simple, very fundamental, and is not required to evolve and change to a point where every day the training has to be different. Now, today's module, what I'm going to be talking to you for the next 45 minutes, all right, because I know your attention span, wherever you're sitting right now in the world, if it's more than 45 minutes, high possibility you're not human, okay? All right, so focus on this good-looking Malaysian standing here, all right, and listen to every word I have to say. Empty your cup, and most importantly, after watching this video by V Studios, apply what you have learned. Now, if you look at every network marketing company out there in the world, the majority of companies around the world work on a monthly basis okay that means it's a 30 day turnaround right so every 30 days volume is calculated commissions are paid now when Dato Vijay and Japa Bismarck launched QuestNet in 1998 when they founded this concept they realized that 30 days to see results right is too long not motivating enough not enough inspiration people on the 15 day on the 20th day switch off all right but they say hey i haven't seen any money i don't know what's happening in my network i have to wait for 30 days before i see exactly what i'm going to get from the results of my work so what they decided which is the biggest strength of questnet which people stop talking about today is that questnet all right pays you calculates your commission all right on a weekly basis every seven days seven days now think about this concept okay it's seven days 24 hours 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 now if you live that seven days properly systematically passionately with a strong sense of urgency I welcome you to a fantastic future of financial freedom Right? So a lot of people, when they look at network marketing, they don't understand the seven-day concept. Okay? So if you look at QuestNet today, it's Saturday to Friday. Friday is the cutoff. Your commissions are calculated. Your downlines are calculated. All right? And that's your result. So if you look at a seven-day period where you want to produce a specific result, where you want to achieve something, all right, in QuestNet, that means every day counts. Every day counts. Every day matters. Every 24 hours 
can make a drastic difference to the potential outcome of the seven days. So I observe a lot of networkers who go through these seven days very excited, very passionate, all right, totally switched on, nothing wrong with that. You see them on the streets, they're shouting, I love QuestNet, I am going to be financially free, all right. But if you ask them, what are you planning to achieve at the end of seven days? Total silence. They don't know. So my question to you, watching this video right now, do you know what you're going to achieve in that seven day period? Do you have a crystal clear picture? of what you're going to achieve in seven days. Don't tell me what your goals and dreams are. All right? Because your dreams is three years, five years, seven years, big dreams. Okay? No problem. All right? That's what I want you to have somewhere at the back of your mind. When I started QuestNet, I had big dreams. I sat down with my mentor in Upline, Dato Vijay, and I shared with him all my big dreams. Dato, I'm going to buy this, I'm going to have a house, I'm going to have this car, I'm going to buy this watch, right? I'm going to marry Shakira, right? I had tons of dreams which I shared with him, okay? But he simply listened to me with a big smile, all right? Love watching me talk about my big dreams. And then he came back to the fundamental question. He said, Patman, what's going to happen the next seven days? Patman, what's your plans the next seven days? Patman, what's your goals the next seven days? Patman, how many people in your group are going to achieve a check the next seven days? How many plans or presentations are going to happen in your organization the next seven days? How many trainings are happening the next seven days? Let's talk about this week. It's great if that all of you have these dreams written down somewhere. In your heart, in your mind, I respect that. Basic building block number one, the most crucial fundamental dreams. But today, I want to talk about seven days. I may even call this video seven days. I don't know. All right. But the point is, many networkers, if they go along too long without a specific goal, if they go through a journey too long without a target, all right, without a crystal clear destination, along the way, they get lost. They just get lost. They come for trainings, right? They, 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 they SMS you, okay? They, they watch the DVDs. They have amazing product knowledge. They do everything accordingly, but no results. Then after two years, they come and sit on your table and complain saying, Mr. Patman, I don't understand. I joined this business now. I'm not making money. What's wrong? Blah, blah. They start to blame everything else. Now, if you are sitting there right now and you do not know what your target, your goal is for the next seven days, then I guarantee you all your downlines don't know what their goals and go their targets are for the next seven days. So it becomes a major breakdown. Do you understand? That means if the upline doesn't have a clear picture, all right, he doesn't know anything, then all the downlines on the left and right don't have goals. Now, is there a lot of activity? Yes, a lot of things happening. Do some people achieve results? Yes. But when you look down on it, the results are very weak. Why? Because a human being by nature, mentally speaking, right, a human being by nature cannot do anything properly unless there is a clear target to achieve. Right? Take some of the greatest people on the planet. Even Barack Obama, okay, he went into the presidential election of the United States. Right, to become the president. Right? He didn't do it for the fun of it. He didn't do it because he enjoyed going up on stage and talking to thousands of people. So every great achievement had a crystal clear destination, your goal. Now your dreams of three to five years is brilliant. But how do you achieve that, guys, is by simply having a systematic periodic goal of seven days. So what is your five-year goal? A combination of achieving many seven-day goals. Right? So today I'm going to talk to you about how you systematically manage your seven days. How systematically do you manage the outcome of your seven days? How do you evaluate, analyze yourself at the end of seven days to gauge or judge whether you have achieved your goals, whether you did enough to achieve your goals. So simply take an example, okay? This is you. 
these are your downlines right so you firstly have to have your seven day goals all right now the seven day goal is a mixture of um, quantifiable targets all right very quantifiable like your check number of sign up stuff like that okay so the first thing the first thing you have to do in seven days is the number of presentations how many number of presentations are you supposed to do in seven days now I hope all of you watching this video have already watched the rule 3 video now rule 3 is a fundamental part of networking if you don't know anything about rule 3 please go ask your upline and tell him more on why haven't you taught me about rule 3 Patman keeps talking about rule 3 all the time now rule 3 simply means that to become a networker the basic requirement is 15 presentations a month if you are doing less than 15 presentations and watching this video let me be extremely honest with you and I'm saying this because I care you're not a networker you're not taking the questnet business seriously now 15 presentations minimum a month all right okay now if you take 15 presentations a month that means you're looking at an average of four presentations a week so now this is easily quantifiable right very easy to measure so the first thing I'll ask you is hey this week your goal is to do four presentations I don't care how who when you must complete this task now this clearly becomes a achievable goal it becomes something you can evaluate it becomes something you can analyze all right simple four presentations a week all right number two this is a bit uh, unpredictable you may say out of your control but I believe it's hundred percent in your control how many sign-ups are you gonna get in your organization these seven days seven days all right this seven days how many sign-ups are you going to get the organization now if you have 200,000 people here and 100,000 people here which means you're already financially free and you can easily monitor how many sign-ups but if you have 25 people here and 30 people here can you answer this question how many sign-ups are you going to get in your organization this is you your left your right total sign-ups including your personal sign-ups all right how many are you going to get in that week now this is very important Dato VJ when I started networking constantly asked me this question Patman how many sign-ups in your organization next week how many sign-ups this week what's your target next week what's your goal next week what's your goal next week constantly putting pressure on me to think a lot of people sad to say network marketing have a tracking center have left and right and every week they wait for their check or their quest account you know or their virtual office to tell them how many signups and what is their commission a true networker will never need to check his virtual office to know how much money he made a true networker will already have clear goals set in his whole organization of every key leader and networker all right and he will know how many UV or how many signups he's going to get that week so I'm asking you a question if you have 40 50 100 200 1000 downlines in your organization how many signups are you going to get next week what's your target or are you hoping for the best because many people in seven days just hope guys questnet network marketing is not a hope business it's a serious business that means you must have a crystal clear identifiable goal every seven days every seven days so first one how many presentations that's for you yourself how many sign-ups in your organization that's a total all right okay your next one will be all right how many people are attending trainings another quantifiable question because every week there is some kind of training happening somewhere in the world it could be in your home it could be in the office at a VTC it could be in a in a hotel wherever you are in the world 
there is trainings happening every week. So my question is, all right, how many people attend trainings? Because you want to know a true gauge of a powerful networker, observe in a training how many of his downlines come. So I have met networkers, right, who come and tell me, Mr. Partman, I'm a big leader. My check is 2,000 US dollars. Then he attends my training. And I ask him, oh, how many people did you bring? Uh, two. Where's your everyone? I don't know. I, they don't listen to me. They won't come if I ask. You understand? That means your check may be 2,000 US dollars practically by accident, but you have no influence over your network. So what is networking truly about? It's about influence. That's why this is a very, very crystal clear goal for me. So when I used to have weekly trainings in a hotel or in my house, Dato will ask me every week, Patman, how many people are coming for training? Why is this goal important? Because if you have a training tomorrow, let's say you have 2,000 people in your network and you have a training tomorrow and 20 people come. What does that signify? It signifies you have a weak network. You have no influence. They don't respect you as a leader. You have no leaders there to influence others to come. So what's the use of having 2,000 people in your downlines? That means you are basically recruiting people, but they are not plugged into your system. So here's the question. Training, how many people? So my upline, once again, the most amazing upline on the planet, Datu Vijayeshwar, used to ask me this question and I was confused. I said, what does how many people come for training have to do with me as a networker? And Dato said, Patman, listen very carefully. If you have 200 people coming for training every week, you know you have 200 people plugged into your system. You know your message is reaching 200 people. You know there are 200 people potentially very loyal to you. You have 200 network builders. Everyone sitting at home shaking legs, Right, singing Kumbaya and watching TV are not your true networkers. Right? How many people attend training? How many people show their face? That is a true test of whether you are a powerful networker or not. So I know people whose check may be $2,000 right, a week, but they can bring 1,000 people to a training. I know people whose check is 4000 a week, they bring two people to training. Who is more important to me? This guy. Even though his check is smaller, maybe because one leg is much bigger than the other one, but look at his influence. That means if I want to communicate a message to the network, I tell him 1,000 people know. I tell this moron, two people know. That means you're not a networker. You're not a serious networker. You're not an international standard networker. You're not a networker by my standards. So when Dato Vijay taught me about these weekly goals, he made it clear to me, Patman, it must cover every aspect. First, why is presentation important for you, your personal goal? Because monkey see, monkey do. If you are not showing four presentations a week and complying with the most amazing concept of networking called Rule 3, that means guaranteed your downlines are not doing it. Because monkey see, monkey do. If I'm not doing four presentations a week, my downlines are not doing four presentations a week, and it slowly starts to collapse. And eventually, no one does any presentations. Now, why is sign-ups important? Right? Because sign-ups indicate the activity level and the results. So I know if I get 40 sign-ups this week, I already know what is the activity in my left and right. I can predict what's going to happen. Right? A lot of people say, oh, Patman, I was so shocked to get a check. I don't even know what happens. I got a big check. Unbelievable. Actually, no. That means you're a moron. That means you have no control over your network. You have no knowledge over your network. You cannot predict. I used to predict my check every week without fail. I knew exactly what my check was going to be next week because I was involved in my network. I know everyone's personal goals seven days. So every seven days, I had a crystal clear picture on what's happening in my downline. In Malaysia, right, in the UK, in Sri Lanka, in Papua New Guinea, wherever around the world, I knew what was happening because I was in touch with all my leaders, right? I had 
seven day goals for all my leaders, weekly targets and goals for all my leaders. I followed up with them. I made sure they achieve it. All right? At the end of seven days, I reviewed their goals to see whether they achieved it or not. All right? I did even more drastic things. I did how many DVDs do you watch a week? And I'm not saying this because I love these studios. I'm saying this because DVDs is a very effective way to keep your network switched on. Right? But why do you have to watch a DVD? Because when you sit at home alone, right, staring at the ceiling singing Kumbaya on Wednesday, which is the middle of the week, what if you switch off? That means Thursday, Friday is two wasted days. Now, if you are a serious networker, every day matters. So, if you take all these goals and targets, all right, and you plug it into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the two previous days, your days are very, very full of activity. Your motivation level is very high. Because you can't switch off if you're constantly in touch with everyone. And most amazingly, you get amazing results. So what's my message? Every seven days, from Saturday to Friday, there must be a crystal clear target, goal. For you, for your downlines, for your leaders, for everyone to achieve, to comply. Alright? that target and goal becomes very, very, very important. Okay? So what I do is, every Saturday, I will take time, one hour, two hours, three hours, to meet my key leaders and sit down with them and do what? Long distance, call, SMS, email. In your own locality, meet face to face. Business over coffee, we call it. Okay? Right? So basically you do this. I meet all of them and I check on their targets on the previous Saturday. Seven days ago. So seven days ago, they gave me their targets and goals. Right? On this Saturday, I review what they told me last Saturday to make sure they achieved it. If they achieved it, good. If they don't achieve it, I review why. I analyze, I ask them what happened. Why? Did you get switched off? Did you get distracted? What happened? You promised to get this many sign-ups. You promised to get that many people attending training. You promised that this many DVDs are going to be watched by your downlines. You promised that you are going to do four presentations. What happened? You didn't achieve your target. You didn't achieve your goal. Now, if I have trespassed with them, I'll ask them why. But see, I don't question you every seven days. You switch off. If I don't question you every seven days and review your goals for the past seven days, you get lost in the world of confusion. And after five years, you come and sit in front of me and cry and say, Patman, I have not achieved my goals. I can't achieve my dreams. This business didn't work. Right? Don't be a moron. If you achieve every seven days your target, right guys, you basically will definitely achieve your dreams. Right? So every seven days I sit down, I review all the goals, right? and then I set new goals for the next seven days. And they will duplicate this with their downlines. So every layer of networkers in my group, everyone is duplicating the same thing. So what happens at the end of the week, I know exactly whether everyone has achieved their goals and targets just by talking to my key leaders. As long as duplication works effectively, you can monitor this. Now, I used to go to Dato Vijay, for example. Right? I used to show him my check. Right? So, I used to go to Dato Vijay like a school student. Okay? So, I'll take my check and my genealogy report. Now, you have it online. Those days, we used to print it. Okay? And I'll show him. And he said, okay, your check is 4,000 US dollars. Because when I started networking, the plan was 5, 5, 400. Now, they made it better, 3, 3, 2, 50. Unbelievable, okay? So what I did was I sat down with Dato and said, Dato, my check is 4,000 US dollars this week. Right? Then I, he'll ask me, Patman, what's your check next week? He never failed to ask this question. How many of you are asking this question of your downlines? How many of your uplines are asking you this question? So he asked me, Patman, what's your check next week? Simple fundamental question, right? 
And I'll give him an answer. I'll tell him, uh, Dato, uh, my check next week is um, 4,008. Example, two extra steps. And I thought I can go home and sing Kumbaya. No. My upline would stop me and say, okay, show me how. Show me how you're going to get 4,008. So it's easy to say things, you know. Right? It's easy to say that, hey, 4,000 this week, next week 4,008. Oh, and now there's 750 this week, next week 1,005. That's a good goal. I'm not saying that's a stupid goal. That's a good goal. That's a good target for seven days growth. But the question is, how? Where? Left? Right? This guy? This guy? Is this guy going to grow? Or are you hoping that the UVs are going to fall from the sky? No, it has to be strategic. So if you want to go from 750 a week to 1,500 a week, you must have an additional 9 person, additional 9 person here. I mean sign-ups coming in or UV coming in, correct? How? Where is this extra 9 going to come every week? From this guy, is there a new group? Is this guy, has he started rule 3? This guy, does he have? You must have a systematic approach to predict this. You cannot just say from 750 to 1,500. And hope it's going to happen. Because this business is not about hoping things are going to happen. This business is about making things happen. Alright? Because simple fact, alright? Every traditional business in the world, from Microsoft to the local restaurant in where you live in your town, works on the concept of targets and goals. Some of them work on monthly targets. Some of them work on weekly targets. Some of them work on daily targets. But my message to you is, Right? In our business, every seven days, there has to be a goal. Right? Every seven days, there must be a target. Every seven days, you have to monitor. Right? Every end of seven days, you have to review. What are the targets of your leaders? Have they achieved it? Has she achieved it? Has he achieved it? Why not? What happened? Why didn't he achieve it? Where is the breakdown? You can't just sit there as a big upline and say, All of you, bring me more money. Please, wake up and smell the coffee, guys. This is a serious, systematic business. This business requires a lot of monitoring, a lot of planning, a lot of strategy. Right? And what Dato taught me was seven days count. Every seven days matters. Right? That one week becomes the most important week of your life. And the next week becomes the most important week of your life. And the next week becomes the most important week in life. That means from Saturday... To Friday, you need to know what you're doing. You need to know what you want to achieve. How many presentations? How many sign-ups? What's your check going to be this week? How many people attending training? How many people watching DVDs? Right? How many people sitting in your one-on-one -on -one meetings? How many downlines are you going to counsel this week? And the same way, your leaders have to go downline and implement the same thing. Right? So my message to you is very simple. Right? Let's talk about the big dreams. I'm a dreamer. I believe in the power of dreams. So if you have big dreams which you want to achieve in the next 3, 5, 7 years, unbelievable. All right? I'm your biggest supporter. But in order to achieve that big dreams at the end of 3, 5 or 7 years, first start by achieving your weekly targets. Start by achieving your goals every 7 days. Start by achieving simple systematic goals. How many presentations you are going to do? How many sign-ups you are going to get? What is your check next week? All right? And how are you going to achieve it? How many people attending training? How many people watching your DVDs? How many people did you send SMS to? Simple target, but still important. All right? Because communication is the key in sustaining your network. But you communicate based on emotional needs. Oh! Sales are low in my group. Uh, there's not much UV coming. I need to communicate more. That's a wrong reason. Communication with your downline should be consistent. Consistent. Based on weekly achievable targets. Alright? Now, wherever you are sitting here watching this video, even if you're two days old in QuestNet, or even you're two years old in QuestNet, use this method. Use the method of every seven days count. Use the method that every seven days matter. All right? Focus on a simple seven day target. But make sure you achieve it. And if you don't achieve it, don't say, 
ah, I didn't achieve it, let me try next week. No, sit down with your upline, counsel upline, understand why didn't you achieve it. Were you too lazy? You didn't know how to monitor, you didn't know how to push, you didn't have enough trespass. Right? You must review why you didn't achieve targets. The biggest mistake people make in network marketing, they don't achieve a seven day target and they say it's okay. It's not okay. If you were my downline and I'm your direct upline, you don't achieve your target, I will sit down and talk to you. I will hammer you and push you to make sure next week you achieve it. Because a man or woman who doesn't achieve their goals continuously, after a while give up. And they just sail along in networking without a destination. So imagine if you are sitting in a boat in the middle of the ocean with no destination, what happens? You, clip, you keep floating around until you drop dead, run out of water, run out of food. So networking, don't, don't you know, float around. Have a destination. Start with every seven days. Right? Start with every seven days. Make sure rule three is part of it. So if rule three is part of your seven day target, then it's four presentations a week. Simple. But don't sit down and sing Kumbaya. Go out there and achieve your weekly targets. Because a combination of weekly targets means you become financially free. And make sure you monitor your leaders. Make sure they monitor their downlines. Make sure they monitor their downlines on the weekly targets. So guys, please take this message very seriously. Every seven days counts. Every seven days is the most important seven days in your networking career. Every week can make a big difference. Every target, no matter this small or this big, is important for you to achieve it. Are you with me? Please nod your head and say yes. Alright? It's a very simple message which a lot of people take for granted. Alright? So please, go back out there, go back to your leaders, go back to your network and implement this. Have a proper system of monitoring. Go back to your upline and ask them, I want to have a target this week. I can't wait next month. I want something this week. I want to achieve this this week. Alright? And if you implement this effectively in your network, you will see a drastic difference in the results you produce in our most amazing industry called network marketing. Remember, every seven day counts.